Alright, so this is the BMW E36 that we use. Um, it's a sure sign that you do have an ABS sensor failure if you get the following lights showing up in your dashboard. Now I'm going to start the engine here and you'll see which lights I'm talking about. So there we go, we have this is the DSC or ASC dash warning light, this is the handbrake warning light and this is the ABS warning light. Now this particular series of dashboard warning failures usually represents a failure of an ABS sensor somewhere in your vehicle. Now your vehicle will have four ABS sensors, one on each corner, um, but you don't want to waste uh, time or money in changing the wrong sensor, so how do you find out which sensor you actually need to change? Well, this is where the code reader C110 comes into play. And what we'll do is we'll hook this up to the diagnostic port and it should give us a fault telling us which particular corner ABS sensor needs to be changed. Alright, so we're back now to just the ignition on. We've turned the engine off. Um, so as you can see, we still have these three ABS failure warning lights. And this is the tool I was talking about. It's the BMW and Mini C110. And what we're going to do now is just diagnose the fault. See if we can find out the reason for the dashboard lights. So we'll go diagnose. It's a 3 series. It's an A46. And we're looking at the body. So we're looking at we're looking for the ABS. Chassis. ABS, there we go. So we'll OK that. And what it's doing now is searching through the ABS module looking for any error codes. So what it's given us here is a bit of vehicle information and then read trouble code and there we go it's telling us that the wheel sp speed sensor the rear left that is as you sit in the vehicle it's the left hand side and it's the rear ABS sensor which needs to be replaced. So there we go that is a lot easier than actually changing all sensors and finding out which sensor is an error at obviously a lot of cost and time and effort because anyone who's changed an ABS sensor before will tell you that sometimes they're not as easy um, to fix as they maybe could be. So what we'll do is we'll change the ABS sensor over and then we'll come back to the dashboard and see if the dashboard lights have been removed. Alright, so the ABS sensor has just been replaced. We'll get the wheel on, get it back on the ground, and we'll diagnose it again, see if the dashboard lights have gone. Okay, so as you've just seen, we have replaced the ABS sensor. The car is now back on the deck. Um, we're going to start the engine now to see if the lights have been removed. Now, if in your particular circumstance, the lights don't go out straight away, don't worry about it. They might not go out straight away in this particular test here. Uh, sometimes it can take a few minutes or for the uh, the vehicle to, to start rolling for a while before the ECU realises that a new ABS sensor is in there and then the lights will automatically go out. Okay, so we're going to start the engine now, see what happens on this vehicle. Alright. So just as I mentioned there, the lights haven't gone out, but that's nothing to worry about, because what I'm going to do, I'll just have to move the vehicle a little bit here, I'm in quite an enclosed space, so bear with me. to do is manoeuvre and then take it out on the road. Right, 
Right, so out of that enclosed space now, so what we can do is take it for a little bit of drive, put the speed up. Oh, there we go. Lights have all gone out. ABS sensor has been changed successfully. We don't need to hook it back up to the code reader. You can if you want to, but as I say, we don't need to because we know the fault has been fixed. The lights have gone out on the dashboard and it represents a success. Now what you want to do is, when you do change your ABS sensor, if you're looking for the right ABS sensor for your vehicle, what we'd advise you to do is log on to www.bavariandominator.co.uk um, or you can click the link directly below the video where you will find ABS sensors for your vehicle. It's important to make sure you get a an ABS sensor which is correct and not only that, an ABS sensor which is of good quality and Dominator Auto Diagnostics can provide just that.